I watched seven more episodes of Sanctuary Moon with it hanging around my feed. Then, it pinged me, like I somehow might not know it had been in my feed all this time, and sent me a request to go back to the new adventure show I had started to watch when it had interrupted me. It was called World Hoppers, and was about freelance explorers who extended the wormhole and ring networks into uninhabited star systems. It looked very unrealistic and inaccurate, which was exactly what I liked. I gave you a copy of all my media when I came aboard. I wasn't going to talk to it through the feed like it was my client. Did you even look at it? I examined it for viral malware and other hazards. And fuck you, I thought, and went back to Sanctuary Moon. Two minutes later, it repeated the ping in the request. Watch it yourself. I tried. I can process the media more easily through your filter. That made me stop. I didn't understand the problem. When my crew plays media, I can't process the context. Human interactions and environments outside my hull are largely unfamiliar. Now I understood. It needed to read my reactions to the show to really understand what was happening. Humans use the feed in different ways than bots and constructs, so when its crew played their media, their reactions didn't become part of the data. I found it odd that the transport was less interested in Sanctuary Moon, which took place on a colony, than World Hoppers, which was about the crew of a large exploration ship. You'd think it would be too much like work. I avoided serials about survey teams and mining installations, but maybe familiar things were easier for it. I was tempted to say no, but if it needed me to watch the show it wanted, then it couldn't get angry and destroy my brain. Also, I wanted to watch the show too. It's not realistic. It's not supposed to be realistic. It's a story, not a documentary. If you complain about that, I'll stop watching. I will refrain from complaint. <laughs>